Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to another pack opening here on FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. Again, this is off my account on the early access, so these packs really mean something to me. Unlike the capture event stuff, which was all on dev accounts, and although we got some sick players, unfortunately I don't have them in my club. So, this is the second round from an absolutely massive pack opening I did on the first night that EA Access dropped. I literally spent like four straight hours uh, opening packs, which is probably a bit of a waste of my 10 hours on EA Access. But we do get a Buffal there, a Premier League five-star skiller who plays for Southampton. He's got that cheeky sort of pose as well. I don't really know if I like that picture. Uh, but we start things off really well with some decent players like Buffal. We also get Karius, another new transfer into the Premier League. Players like that at the moment are gold dust. They are players which are relatively easy to pack. But they sell for a lot of coins. Now, we get a high-rated player here. He's not quite a walkout, but it's an 87-rated Bonucci, who still gets the fireworks and the confetti and all of that stuff, but he doesn't quite walk out onto your screen, which is a little bit of a bummer, um, but still a, a ridiculous, beastly centre-back for Juventus. I really want to try him next to Chiellini and with Buffon in goal and see just how mad that actually is. Um, we get 4,000 coins in that pack as well, so I'm pretty happy about that. But I did sort of try and hype things up yesterday in the pack opening where I let you guys know that today's one, this one that you're watching right now, is going to be slightly higher tier than yesterday's because we do get ourselves... A couple of seriously elite players. We get, um, I think there's like three or four walkout players, I think. Uh, we get an inform as well and a legend. So I'll let you know when they come around. Obviously, this is a post commentary. I didn't have it in me. My voice is already going and you might be able to tell I'm actually getting quite ill, um, which is not good in the first week of FIFA. Uh, by the way, how weird does Joe Hart look without the, without the Man City badge? I'm a little bit... I think that's going to be a good thing for FIFA because you're going to be able to hybrid, hybrid things up quite well. But it looks very, very strange to me. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm getting a little bit ill. My voice is going. So I wasn't going to sit there and live commentate for four hours straight just in the hopes that we got some good players. Because obviously what you're seeing now is a massive chunk of video cut down into a, a very small amount of time in reality. It's literally... Oh, get Ben Yedda. Sick player. Uh, he's got a new image, which I didn't really recognize him. He looks very different from his FIFA 16 image. He must... Well, on FIFA 16, he must have looked... He must have had an old picture or something because this one looks very different. He's got a new hairstyle and everything. Uh, next pack we get is a nice Man City left midfielder. Uh, that is, of course, Raheem Sterling. 82 rated. Sort of thought he would be higher rated overall considering a lot of the other wingers and fullbacks and goalkeepers are all actually higher rated compared to what they were last year. Really nice pack, though, with Inyaki Williams as well. Uh, he looks amazing too. So we've got two great wingers there in that particular pack. Another good centre-back option coming in now is Laporte. He was one of my favourites in FIFA 16. Unfortunately, they seem to have killed his pace a little bit, but I'm not too worried. The new chemistry styles, if I stick a shadow card on him, I think he's going to be almost better than ever, which is decent. We pack ourselves Chicharito right there, one that Castro would be proud of. Uh, the Mexican who plays in the Bundesliga looks to be a pretty sick item. And uh, I've actually got a, a cheap Bundesliga squad coming up for you guys. Really cheap, actually. I made it on another account where I had hardly any coins and hadn't put any money into it. And I managed to still pick up Chicharito for around sort of three or 4,000 coins. So it's like a 15k Bundesliga team, which will be perfect for a lot of you guys. And that will be coming up soon over the next few days. We get Arsenal's new transfer there, Mustafi, the centre-back. I actually thought it was Mertesacker to begin with, so I was a bit happy when I saw 70 pace. Uh, and we also get Luis Gustavo. I think I've already packed him, so he should probably be a duplicate, um, which is okay. I'm happy to get a nice 83 rated Brazilian duplicate in a popular league. He'll probably sell for a few thousand coins. And at this point, that's what I've been doing. If I get duplicates that are worth something, I will sell them on unless they're a seriously popular league like Premier League players, like I said in yesterday's video. I've definitely been keeping hold of them. I'm going down the route of I'm going to sell my Prem players like when the official launch of the game comes out, like the 29th in the UK or whatever it is. Uh, so that's what I've decided to do because I think there might be a spike in prices. However, they are quite high, uh, highly priced at the moment. So I'm almost thinking, is it too good to be true? Are they going to go any higher in price? Should I let go of my duplicates now? I don't know. Here is the first of uh, a pretty sick like time span worth of packs. We get ourselves, what? There's no flag. 
But he is from Croatia. He is from Real Madrid. It is, of course, Luka Modric walking out. Don't know why I didn't get the Croatia flags dropped down. That seems a bit odd. But we do get the fireworks. We do get the confetti. And Luka Modric, 89 rated, walks out with that awesome Z kit that I've got from pre-ordering the Super Deluxe Edition of the game. He looks amazing and I thought I'd just let him stand there for a little bit. Let's let that confetti go. Uh, I actually wanted to see if it would ever sort of move on into the pack or whether you do have to press A to skip. And eventually I just skipped it because I wasn't going to wait any longer. I wanted to check out what this Modric item looked like. So he is 89 rated with four star skills and weak foot. Uh, he has got that new image. Of course, the Real Madrid player faces seem to have been updated this year, which is a good thing. Uh, and this is another pack, literally almost straight after... Oh, legend. Who is this going to be? We get ourselves an Italian legend, it looks like. So I'm really buzzing that it's going to be Del Piero. Unfortunately, it is a CDM and it is Gattuso. So not the best legend to pack. But I was still absolutely over the moon. Day one legend. Uh, and I actually managed to pack this guy on FIFA 16. So I wish, I kind of wish I would have packed a different one. The confetti is a slightly different color when packing a legend. And how sick does that look, by the way, when he walks out? I love the legend. It's my favorite item on the game. Uh, they are always amazing for me. I think they outplay any other player on the game. So I'm really happy to get Gattuso. And again, with chemistry styles, if I stick a shadow card on this guy, he's going to have close to 80 pace. Uh, way into the 90s defending and of course he's already got 92 physical so he could be an absolute beast of a CDM so he'll be staying in the club probably for the entire FIFA this year again just like the last one did uh, and then we go straight to another walkout right here this is getting good in this pack opening Spanish Cam Man City ah you guessed it, it is David Silva of course so again not quite the best one that we could have had but still a nice awesome walkout uh, nonetheless he, I think, could be good if you stick a Hunter card on him. His pace will increase, his shooting will increase. And, of course, the two stats that he's already got really good, uh, like, high ratings in is the dribbling and the passing. So, well back in, uh, well back in the same pack. Well back? Who's that? Uh, but we get, of course, uh, David Silva and Welbeck in the same pack. And that was sort of a bit of a mad few minutes. We then pretty much straight after get ourselves a Volpi, informed Brazilian goalkeeper, I'm pretty sure this guy doesn't really sell for anything. You know, he's a lower rated one. Everyone's probably packing him at this point in time. So, if anything, he's probably 10, 11,000 coins. He can sit in the club quite nicely. And maybe, who knows, he might fit into a team in the near future where I've got a couple of Brazilian centre-backs. We get ourselves Christian Eriksen. So, the, the absolute mad craziness has sort of happened now. There are still two walkouts in this pack. I'm just looking along my timeline. Uh, and there are still two walkouts in this pack. This is one of them. Who is it? Who is it? What are we seeing? We're seeing... Is that Germany? No, it's Belgium. It's a Belgian player. A goalkeeper. Oh, from Chelsea. It is, of course, Thibaut Courtois. An 89-rated goalkeeper. Again, one of the sickest pulls you'll see at the start of this game. One of the highest-rated players. Definitely in the top 50. I think he might even be a top 20-rated player overall. Um, but yeah, Courtois, 89 like reflexes was that? What was, what was his card stats? 89 reflexes with 91 handling and 86 positioning. Great diving as well. He's massive. He's going to be a great keeper. Probably unstoppable. So I'm looking forward to sticking him into an expensive Premier League team coming up shortly for you guys. This guy would probably also make it into an expensive Premier League squad. It is, of course, Chris Smalling. I've packed him literally like two, three, four times. I don't know. But he's a good one to pack because, again, Premier League... One of the higher rated centre-backs. He's going to sell for a lot of coins. Uh, we also get ourselves Eva Banega, the Argentine cam who plays for Inter. And I was buzzing about that one because I think he looks amazing this year. Previously, he's normally had like under 70 pace, I think. So he kind of doesn't look that usable. Uh, and by the way, this is the final walkout of the video. What have we got coming down the... Oh, God, is that Spanish? Who could that possibly be? Oh, God, it's a cam. It's Man City, and again, it is David Silva. So I sort of got trolled a little bit, but he comes out and does the sort of look at my name, look at my number type thing. So it's a slightly different walkout for David Silva, which I was quite happy about. I love that Z kit. I'm sort of going to rock that for a little while, I think. Um, and I love it when the players walk out. That is such a great animation, and it gets you so hyped when you're opening packs. Uh, on the other end of the spectrum, it's kind of like a downer because... You might still get an 85, maybe an 86, or even an 87 rated player. But if they don't walk out, you're almost disappointed. So that's a bit of a strange one to get your head around. We're coming towards the end of the pack opening here. 
We do got ourselves a Benatia, who of course plays for Juventus and is 83 rated this year. He'll be a solid centre-back for sure. Partner him up with some of them other Juve defenders and you're going to be golden. Uh, we then also get a Gary Cahill, another one in the Premier League that's definitely solid, although he's not quite as pacey this year. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. We got a legend in a pack for Christ's sake. That's not too bad at all. Uh, we also had loads of walkouts, informs, the good stuff. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. The final pack was another Luis Gustavo who's going to sell for a few thousand coins. But I hope you've enjoyed, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.